Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to the finale of my dad's secret ambitions. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, I have no idea what the hell is going to happen, what's going to come out. Mmm. They're starting in like episode one again. Oh. What? <laughs> oh no, wait, 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 you can't start the episode right now, oh my god, even though he just said nah, ow, <laughs> and he's literally the same age as her, oh my god. Bro. <laughs> it could be a coincidence. But he literally looks like Goto. Oh my. Then what is it? What? Hmm. But to think that he would be a secret love child, wow. Hi. Hi. So then you guys, no, but then, hmm.
the day he found out that he was So are you telling me he's in a coma? He's either in a coma or he's all right. Oh my God. What if he doesn't remember he may? Oh my God. I swear to God, don't do that to me. He probably has amnesia. That's why, mm. He's awake, isn't he? But yeah, they were waiting for you. I swear to God, I swear.
Oh. Her birthday? Too. And before all the things. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, shut up. Mm -hmm. That exactly, you don't want to do that. Do this to me, man. I'm fucking fine. And that's not fair, right? You shut up. I ain't called you, Alexa. I called your ass now.
know. Mm -hmm. And it might take time. It might even take years. Just stay there. Mm -hmm. She has to be getting the boxes in. You know.
perfect. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Oh. Jesus Christ, oh my god. Oh, not gonna lie. <laughs> they got me in the first half of this episode. Oh my god. Woo, Jesus. Alright, final thoughts on this show. This is a really, really underrated show for this season. I mean, when this show started, a lot of people were talking about it, kind of. Especially with, like, the first five episodes, but slowly but surely this show is not as talked about as much. Like the last thing that I heard about anyone talking about the show um was a video on YouTube with Funimation talking about it and saying that people should watch it. I love this show. This is so good. Like I mean we all knew that this last episode some ish was gonna come out and ish did come out. I mean was I expecting to cry in this episode? A little bit of yes and a little bit of no, but I'm happy that he regained he regained his memories. That he was able to remember Hime, and yes, that his secret is out, and that she knows. But the fact is that she's also drawing manga, that's sweet. It makes me kind of wonder um, what specifically could happen next in the series, possibly. I don't know. Now I kind of want to read the manga just to see what could happen next. And if she, you know, eventually tells her father about the fact that she is drawing manga as well. Because she is following in her father's footsteps, except she's not making it dirty. She just, it seems like she's possibly going to make like a cute romance novel, manga type series, which might be good. But like, ugh. I'm really gonna miss this show. I think this was honestly for between returning shows, I think this was my only show that was the newest. And it was literally the best thing. I loved everything about it. Still, personally, my favorite episode will possibly be that first episode with the Starbucks cliche and how everybody was like, no, Marie, this is a witch. We don't know where we are. And then he was like, no, we're just at a Starbucks. <laughs> it was just like the cutest thing ever. And to start a series like that, but to still lead it on with like, there's something to be announced. That was a really good thing, and I love the way how they did it. Every single week, we got to learn more and more about Himi's relationship with her father, and then a little bit more about what was in store. But, like, to see what happened in this final episode, to the fact is that he um, he was in a coma. We didn't know how long it was going to be until he woke up. And then the fact is that he had amnesia, and he didn't remember Hime, except as a, as, um, as a 10-year-old. Because that was, like, the happiest time of his life. He was living with Hime. He was doing um, work on his manga and everything until everything was crashing down. It's sad that in the end he had to sell um, the home that they were living in. And eventually they had to live in an apartment. And how he even said, it's not the greatest. But Hime was like, she doesn't care. Wherever she goes with him, that's home to her. 
and it's sweet. I really love the way that they did a relationship between a single parent and their child. I mean, I don't, like, uh, typically with many animes that do the single parent relationship with the child, like, this and freaking, um, if it wasn't for my daughter, and even though I haven't seen it yet, Sweetness and Lightning, because I've heard really good things about Sweetness and Lightning, and then also, like, sad things, but not big, big spoiler things and such. Those three shows, like I said, even though I haven't seen the last one, um, but for the first two, have done a really good job of the single parent and the child and a child in a relationship and having them, you know, convey their emotions and the dynamic and everything with them. And so I really have to apply this series. I really enjoyed it a lot and I'm going to miss it so freaking much. It's going to be a little weird for these, like, what, next week? Because I think, what, June ends between next week and the week after going into July, July we're like, damn. I have no more shows because I have two more shows that end this week. So it's really upsetting, but I really, really enjoyed this series and I love it. And it's going to be near and dear to my heart. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the series of my dad's secret ambition. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially uh, next month for the start of summer anime. Bye, guys.